Okay, so don't get tired, at least not yet. I know I'm making another video on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Lite. That is, of course, because we got more news. We got some more news on this tablet. Plus, I wanna go ahead and share with you what I think is going to be the price of this baby when it comes out. So just bear with me here and let's go ahead and jump in. Welcome to another new segment of the channel on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Lite. Now, the reason this may look or sound familiar, it's simply because I made a video on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Lite last week. But as you know, the more news or the more leaks being dropped, the more video along with my personal take I am going to go ahead and drop. And to those of you who are still impatiently waiting for the all new Tab S7 Lite to come out, again, just like I said last week, hang in there, you're almost there. All right, so let's go ahead, back to business here. Like I just mentioned a few seconds ago, we are just a few weeks away now. So as far as the release date goes, nothing has changed. June is still the targeted month. What I have, however, that is new is the name of this upcoming tablet. I still went ahead and introduced the tablet earlier as the original leaked name, right? The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Lite, but the new leaked name, which seems to be kind of the official name, is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 XL Lite. That was kind of a mouthful there, but that's what we are looking at, at least that's what we are expecting. And this may also mean that Samsung is changing the naming convention of its tablets. So are we now to expect the next flagship to be called the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 XL? Who knows? But anyway, let's go ahead and talk potential price of this tablet. And of course, that means that I'm gonna be making kind of a speculation and tell you what I think is going to be the price of the Tab S7 XL Lite. I still need to get used to that name. And before we do so, if this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome, of course. If you do like the content so far, again, thank you. I truly appreciate that. Please do me a huge favor and hit both the like and the subscribe button there. It's a tremendous boost to this channel, again, I truly, truly appreciate that. Now, let's go ahead and get back to this here. And I wanna start off by saying that no one knows exactly how much this thing is going to cost. I haven't seen too many people even try to guess how much this thing is going to be, but I wanna give it a try. I wanna list a few variables to consider before I go ahead and give you my guess. Now, if you are familiar with the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, it launched at the price of $350. And at the time, the Tab S6 which is actually also the same price now. The Tab A6 was $650. So you do have to consider that price and also consider the processor of that tablet, which of course was the Exynos 9611. But on the Tab S7 XL Lite, you're gonna have something a little bit more powerful. So it's a solid mid-range processor in the Snapdragon 750G. Again, going back to the Tab S6 Lite, you have 10.4 inches for the display, whereas the Tab S7 XL Lite will have a whopping 12.4 inches and yes i do know that a large screen doesn't always mean that it's good right i think i've had someone in the comments say that a large screen doesn't necessarily mean good i do know that but i still think it's something that needs to be accounted for because you know that extra that additional screen real estate you know samsung is probably going to spend a little bit more in order to make that happen so you have the tft display on the tab s6 light whereas the new one is supposed to have an lcd and also could potentially be coming out with double the base storage of what you had on the Tab S6 Lite. Then of course you have to factor in inflation. Granted, that was just a year ago that the Tab S6 Lite was released. But with all of this being said, we might all be expecting something to be very, very expensive, but Samsung may surprise us if you think about it, what they did with the new lineup of Galaxy phones this year, well, the flagship specifically. So the S21 lineup is actually cheaper than the S20s when they came out. I digress here. I personally think that the price is going to be between $379 and $399 for the base storage. And of course, you're gonna have different tiers, right? So you're gonna have the LTE and then the 5G, then you're also gonna have the 128 and then 256 and so forth. So that was just my take. What is your take? What do you think the price is going to be? Make sure to put those in the comment section. Of course, that's why I usually catch you guys. Again, this is pure speculation because 
if you even take just the price structure that Samsung had for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, you might even see that my pricing or what I'm thinking is gonna be is actually a little off. Because if you think about it, as I mentioned earlier, the Tab S6 was $650. That was the flagship tablet. The Tab S6 Lite, that was $350. The Tab S7, the current flagship tablet, is $650. So technically, in some unlikely scenario, they were to come out with two of the Tab S7 light of the two of the light tablets coming up, then maybe we would say maybe the regular Tab S7 light is going to be $350. A little bit like the S6 light was $350 when compared to the flagship at the time, which was $650. So it'll be $350 for the S7 light. Then you take, of course, the Tab S7 Plus, which is $850. That's $200 more than the regular Tab S7, then you would also have, have to add $200 on top of the regular Tab S7 Lite, which would make the Tab S7 XL Lite 550. That's just if we were going with that structure, but we don't know what's gonna happen, right? Now, the other news that I wanted to include today because I only included it last week at the very last second because it came out as I was editing the video is the colors. So we are now going to have five colors which are going to include of course the mystic black that we've been so accustomed to seeing which is this particular black this black here especially because the tab s7 xl light looks awfully close to the tab s7 plus here so we're gonna have that mystic black we're gonna have the silver variant then we'll have kind of a green one and we also have a navy blue one which is going to connect with the newest color that we now have available on the current flagship tablets and finally of course we will have a pink one now i'm not sure what they're going to call these colors i'm just saying mystic black because i know this is called mystic black and because the tab s6 light coming out is going to be kind of a derivative of this tablet here i'm assuming that's going to be the same thing but you don't know what samsung is going to do so we would just have to wait and see how inspired samsung gets with those names and that's pretty much it as far as you know news go or new leaks so everything else is going to remain the same and to just recap quickly you are looking at the very clean modern and somewhat premium looking tablet that looks awfully close to the current flagship galaxy tab s7 lineup it's going to be running the snapdragon 750g chipset we're looking at a four gigs of ram version and also a six gigs of ram version with different tiers including wi-fi lte and also 5g variants and this will be combined with base storage starting at 128 gigs probably again in different tiers as well as for me i'm still looking for a physical fingerprint sensor somewhere on the tablet or they might who knows they might add either ultrasonic or I don't know, optical fingerprint sensor under that screen. Either way, I'll be fine with that. We're still gonna get that dual speaker set up here and it's gonna be tuned by AKG, of course, along with a USB type C port, Android 11 out of the box, along with Samsung One UI 3.1 sitting on there, which also tells us that you are very likely to get Samsung DeX out of this, well, not this tablet, out of the Galaxy Tab S7 XL Lite coming out the box, right? So that's all I have for you here as far as news go. Of course, what do you, I would love to hear your thoughts, what you think this tablet is gonna come loaded with, what you think about my price prediction. Let me know what you think. You know, I would love to see where you stand as far as price goes. Don't forget to like, of course, don't forget to share this video if you know anyone who will be interested. And don't forget to subscribe also if you're not subscribed yet. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section like I always do. And I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And as always, of course, up until that next video, make sure to stay safe out there.